Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at the GDX 1060 up against the RX 480 and last gen's Maxwell 980. Uh, main differences between the three cards, obviously the VRAM. So with the 980 we have 4 gigabyte, the 1060 has 6 gigabyte, and the RX 480 has 8 gigabyte. And we saw how well the dual RX 480s perform up against uh, the 1070 and 1080 in my video, which I'll put a link in the description for you guys, just in case you haven't seen that. But we want to see, this is a price to performance sort of look. Um, I found all three cards at this stage at the same price. So the 980s are selling on the second hand market for about 400 Auss Aussie dollars, uh, whilst the RX 480 and the 1060 are both 400 retail. So it's a good, uh, uh, you know, uh, eye opener in regards to see where last gen's Maxwell 80, which is uh, Nvidia's uh, sort of premium card, sits now compared to a 1060 of the next gen. Okay, straight on to some synthetic stuff. Uh, Geekbench 4 CUDA. Uh, here we saw the 1060 beat the 980 uh, and then to the OpenCL test. Here we saw the RX 480 obviously beat both CUDA cards. Uh, on to Luxmark, which is also OpenCL, and once again the RX 480 clears them out. Uh, off to Cinebench in the OpenGL test. Once again, the RX 480 is beating both cards here. Uh, and then running CompuBench, which is a video composition. And once again, the RX 480 edging them out. Okay, now onto GPU test. Uh, we ran the Testmark X64 1080p 4MSAA. Uh, 980 here wins that test. Okay, so now onto some encoding tests. Uh, First test is here is a DaVinci Resolve Great Effects export. It's a two minute red 4K uh, and we exported it at H264 at 1080p. And here we saw the 980 do it in 37 seconds. Off to Premiere Pro, Great Effects export, very similar two minute ProRes file to H264 1080p. And here we saw the 1060 win this one at three minutes and 42, very close margins there though. Okay, now on to DaVinci Resolve, great effects export. This is a nice long 15 minute red 6K to UHD DNxHRHQ. Uh, here we saw the RX 480 actually win this test at 17 minutes and 20 seconds. Uh, off to Photoshop, it's an OpenCL action. Uh, it's a 20 megapixel image. And here again, we see the RX 480 win this one at 59.6 seconds. <clears throat> okay, now this is DaVinci Resolve onto the candlelight benchmark. To 1080p timeline, all three cards achieved the full 25 frames per second. Uh, 10 blur nodes, all three cards at 25 again. Uh, moving on to 20 blur nodes, we see the 1060 take the lead at 23 frames per second. Onto 40 blur nodes, we see it even out here at 14 frames per second. And onto 60 blur nodes, we see the RX 480 take the lead, uh, which is an interesting uh, fluctuation between the nodes. Um, now onto two TNR nodes. Here we see we definitely see the CUDA take advantage, and both the 1060 and the 980 uh, held out at 21 frames. Moving on to four TNR nodes, we saw the 980 here win at, at 12 frames per second, and onto six TNR nodes, we saw the 1060 edge it out by one frame per second. Okay, so this is just testing some playback. Uh, DaVinci Resolve 4K timeline, ProRes LT 4K, all three cards 25 frames per second. Uh, DaVinci Resolve 4K timeline, red 6K footage, half resolution, uh, good quality. Once again, all three at uh, 25 frames. And here we see the next two tests with a full res premium tests uh, and half res premium tests. All three cards in both tests got 16 frames per second. Premiere Pro 4K timeline, Red Dragon 6K footage. To achieve a full frame rate, we had to have the 980 at 1 8 quality, whereas the other two to achieve the full frame rates, we had to have them at quarter quality. Okay, the conclusion. Well, look, the RX 480 and 1060 did marginally beat the 980, so I wouldn't say it's, an, it's a great upgrade path. Uh, something to look at would be maybe uh, if you have a 980, I think a Titan X Maxwell, uh, which I think is offering great uh, price to performance on the second hand market if you can get one in good nick. Um, it was a marginal defeat, uh, so nothing to write about, but um, you know, I think that 
having Pascal's 1060 marginally beat last gen's 980s is, is quite a good feat. And not only did they beat it by a small percentage, but they also done it with about 30% less TDP. So um, Nvidia really done a good job, you know, with the 1060 uh, outperforming the 980 with a lot less power. So if you enjoyed the video, hit the like. Uh, dislike. Um, if you want to see more of this stuff, uh, hit the subscribe button, which is somewhere underneath me right now. Uh, and we've got a, a whole bunch of videos launching in 2017 in January. So um, if you don't want to miss out, subscribe. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching.